Hello and welcome to Prague. Normally we show you places that you can see and visit. This time we will only show you places that you can see, but from a different perspective, because you can't really uh, get what we got right now. Because today we're going canoeing in Prague. Because believe it or not, my friend has a canoe <laughs> and he lets me use it. Wanna go? Let's do it, man. So Honziku, I will be the captain in the back. You'll be Hatrick, which would translate to hook, which means you'll be in the front. You'll be filming, I'll be paddling. You will have a tougher job. This is first time the two of us are on a canoe. And this is not a regular canoe, it's an old Czech type, I believe, which is very wobbly, not stable at all. Oh, I forgot Honziku. Hey, want to pick up? Your Uber has arrived. I love this, man. So along the way, I will try to guide you through places we will see that you know from different perspectives. Uh, we're about to go under the Charles Bridge and you can have a close look at the ice breakers, which are the woods below it, uh, which break ice when there's ice floating on the river so it doesn't hit the bridge. You will also be able to see how the stones are different. Some are replaced, some are new, some are old. And hopefully we don't run into one of these big cruise ships that are going around the river. So let's go under the Charles Bridge. Hansiko, have you ever been under the Charles Bridge? There you go, it'll be your first time. So the two of us were just wondering when's the last time ice was actually on the river? and we can't remember. Uh, but now that I think about it, it can also prevent other things that are on the river during, for example, floods. When there's a big tree, it doesn't hit the pillar of the Charles Bridge, which we're going under right now. Ahoy! So a bridge you've all walked on, we've walked on thousands of times, but this is like my fourth time under it. There behind me, you can see the St. John of Nepomuk from below, and also our famous Honest Land from an angle you've never seen it before. Next stop, the Prague Venice, Chetovka. If you're wondering why is the picture so shaky and why it's moving, it's because we're on a river. And if you're afraid that we're gonna um, flip around, turn over, we're also afraid. That's something we have in common. <laughs> this pillar, is actually part of a gate that can close up. Something will rise here from the bottom and will prevent this area from flooding. And uh, what you're about to see is one of the most beautiful parts uh, where you can go on the river in Prague. So what you see behind me, the waterman and the mill here, is one of the most popular photo spots in Prague, also nearby the John Lennon wall. Uh, but again, seeing it from the river is something completely different and hard to get here, obviously. But what a lovely spot, huh? So these big boats that you can see around, there's very few of them now, normally there's way more, are the ones that you can get your ticket on and you can ride along the river. As you can see right now, and I'm not joking, there's one, two, three, four, six people on that boat. And I don't want to sound like a crazy ecologist, but do we really need to send a huge boat on the river with eight people on it? I'd rather take them on this. And I'm only going to charge them half, which will be 15 euros. Watching this, you may be wondering, is it legal to take your canoe and just ride along the river in one of the biggest cities in Europe? I have no idea. The building behind me is called Občanská plovárna, which means public bath. 
and it really used to be a bath. You could take a swim in the river. So if you look at old aerial images of Prague, right now we would be among swimmers. And I hope one day it will be like that again, because that would be pretty cool. First we need to clean the river though. You may not know the bridge behind me, it's called Chekhov Most. Uh, first of all, it's the shortest bridge across the river with only 169 meters. Uh, it's more than 100 years old, uh, built in 1908. And there's something more to the bridge. Let me show you. So I think the coolest thing about this bridge is that inside the pillars, there are these little tunnels. And the bridge is absolutely beautiful from the bottom. And now we're once again going under the Charles Bridge, but also under the remainings of the Judith Bridge, which was the previous bridge, and also the very first bridge in Prague. Unfortunately, you cannot rent this canoe. It's my friend's canoe. You can rent uh, paddle boats in Prague, which will allow you to sort of circle this area, or you can go on one of these boats that will take you to Chertovka that you saw. But still, we wanted to show you even places where you can't go by yourself uh, and show you sites that you know from a completely different perspective. Uh, when I first did this ride, I was shocked uh, and amazed. So I hope you are uh, too. And uh, with this, Amazing view of two of us on the river and with the castle and the bridge behind me. Uh, that's it from us. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let us know and we can uh, maybe show you more places that are unreachable for you, but we can reach them with our camera. If you want to see pictures from our cruise here, uh, check out our Instagram, which is Real Honest Guide. I really want to thank uh, Vitek for uh, letting us use his little canyon. Uh, and if you subscribe to our channel, uh, it will make us happy. And I'll see you next week, next Sunday, with a new episode of The Honest Guide. I myself am curious what we will come up with. Ahoy! <laughs> that would be a good end to the story. There's a boat coming right towards us. And the Czech word at the end is Ahoy, which is a greeting that in Czech we use only among friends and people you know. Uh, but if you're on the river, if you're a sailor, you can say it to everyone. We just greet each other. Ahoy! Like, ahoy.